had turned on before we had the local geography and the hospital list this was a spreadsheet that we had and uh, we created a point file out of it and remember we imported it by clicking here on the um, add the limited text layer and then we told it it was latitude longitude and gave it the latitude longitude fields and automatically we put them right there now if you want to calculate distances to see what is the, dis the closest hospital to the other hospital you can go in here to this little ruler thing and you can measure lines areas or angles you're going to measure lines and you bring a dialog box put it somewhere that's not in the way and then you can find out what is the distance between this place and that place and you can see here we have the units in meters so it's uh, almost about 16 kilometers uh, between the two places so you can change this to be uh, feet which you know seems unlikely that you want to do that but um, and then you can select here and see it's about 100 kilometers to this one 82 kilometers to this one and so on 91 so this is uh, a very easy way of calculating distances however if you had to calculate the distance from every hospital to every other hospital or at least say to the closest three hospitals that would get to be uh, a huge task and the uh, error prone task so there is a shortcut to doing uh, that kind of operation um, there is under vector analysis tools you have the option for distance matrix and um, so here they will use hospital list as a starting point and the endpoint. So we say from hospital list to hospital list. If we had um, a list of postal codes, for example, we can say uh, from each postal code which is the nearest hospital, and then, uh, or at least as the crow flies, at least. Uh, and then we can determine um, the closest hospital, or say three hospitals, where we can say here, um, you know, the, the three closest hospital for each postal code and that way people can make a decision as to which one they want to go to. One thing that we have to remember is that we created the hospital list using latitude longitude so this is latitude longitude layer we want to create distances it will be in degrees which is a little bit uh, meaningless we want the distances to be in meters or kilometers so we'll right click on hospital list and uh, we can select duplicate which will allow us to mess with it and not destroy it but however it will have the same coordinates we can a coordinate system so we can click save as and uh, we can create a new layer and uh, we'll call it um, hospitals 10tm so save and now we need to tell it what coordinate system we want to use so we use the 10tm uh, forest and it says add saved file to map so as soon as it creates it it will bring it in which is what we want to do say ok and it has now added that layer to the list so we have hospitals 10tm right there and now we can actually go and do our analysis so once again it was vector analysis tools distance matrix to get there so vector analysis tools distance matrix we're going to go from hospitals 10 tm to hospitals 10 tm and uh, we're going to use a facility id the facility id tells us the name of the hospital and that's how we're going to set it up and here um, it's going to create a linear so they're going to find the three nearest hospitals to each hospital so it's going to be closest to itself which is going to have a distance of zero obviously and then the next two or we can do a, a standard a list of all the hospitals as rows and columns and then the distance from each one to each one as the crow flies at least uh, not following the roads so um, we then give it a name and uh, we'll say that we want to call it hospital distance so press save and I now say OK and watch out where you put the file that way you can actually um, 
find it later on. So it takes um, a little while to do this. And now we can add that layer. Hospital distance. I put it in a different place. And we can see what the thing looks like. It wants to go back to point coordinates. We say no geometry. Bring it in and say OK. And now we can right mouse click and open attribute table. Or we can click on here and bring it up this way. So for the Athabasca Healthcare Center, we see the um, distance to the nearest facilities. And so we can see this for every single one. And the distance here expressed in meters because the 10TM projection is in meters. So this CSV file, we could bring it into SAS or into Excel and um, divide by a thousand to get kilometers. And um, it's that simple to um, get the distances.